Bonjour, aujourd'hui c'est le vendredi et chez moi les vendredis sont les vendredis francophiles. J'ai ma classe de français au matin et dans l'après-midi je fais quelque chose dans la cuisine, un plat français. Aujourd'hui je vais faire la ratatouille niçoise. Ça c'est un plat très très bien connu dans tout le monde je pense. C'est un plat très très simple avec très peu de, des ingrédients. C'est très facile à faire mais il y a un peu de variation de ce plat. Si vous voulez ajouter des pommes de terre par exemple, c'est un bon plat, mais ce n'est pas la ratatouille euh, niçoise. C'est un plat italien, je pense. Bon, voilà les ingrédients pour la ratatouille. Euh, quelques gosses d'ail, des courgettes, des aubergines, des oignons, poivrons rouges, bon, euh, vert, des tomates, euh, bien sûr, le, huile d'olive et un peu de sal. Vous pouvez voir comment j'écoutais les légumes. Maintenant, je vais mettre un peu de d'huile, de casserole, beaucoup de huile. Commençons. Bon, que je sache, il n'y a pas d'ordre de mettre des légumes. Je vais commencer avec des oignons. Garlic chopped up, I'll throw that in. Okay, I've added garlic. Okay, when I was looking for recipes for uh, ratatouille, I looked on YouTube, of course, and I mostly looked at recipes of, uh, in French, just to see uh, for the most traditional method that I could possibly find. And I didn't find anything like there's nothing really cast iron about this recipe, like how you add the vegetables, pretty much up for interpretation. Um, so I'm adding the onion, garlic, next I'm going to add the pepper, so I think these all have a little bit longer cooking time than the, than the eggplant and the zucchini. The, uh, it's kind of my favorite, what the fuck, I mean, zucchini. Okay, something I got from, uh, one of my recipes, a French recipe, where she cooked the eggplant separately in another skillet, so that's why they're here. It's kind of... So I've added the tomato, and now I've added a can of whole tomatoes to this with the juice, because you need that liquid. a beautiful dish. Basically just a showcase for a lot of good vegetables. And the eggplant, you're going to want to maybe add a little bit of olive oil to it because it just, the stuff just soaks up olive oil. Okay. You don't want to cook the eggplant all the way. I'll just cover this and cook it for, I don't know, maybe 15 minutes. Check it for salt and pepper. It's the only spices I put in. So it's been simmering for probably less than 15 minutes, but it's, the, the broth is excellent. Just all the vegetables really come together at the end. I mean, it didn't seem like much, just sautéed vegetables. 
but it's just the combination. That's why it's crucial to kind of stick as close as you can to the, the base of this dish, the, the fundamentals. That's why when I look for a recipe, I look to the source. You know, I go to, I find people from south of France that are making this dish and try to get as close to it as I possibly can. And I think I have with this dish. So it's just, I like the, you know, the kind of vegetables are chunky. If I let this go too long, they'll start losing their consistency. Put a little bit of, uh, you don't want to just turn it into goop. It's pretty close right now. And that is ratatouille. A little bit of uh, baguette, you know, set.